Wits University has teamed up with pharmaceutical company BioVac to reinforce the country's vaccine production capabilities. The collaboration will see viral vectored vaccines being produced in South Africa. Director of the Antiviral Gene Therapy Research Unit, verse, Research Unit at Wits, Professor Patrick Abenot, joins me to tell us more about this. Patrick, I'll eventually stumble my way through to you. Tell us a little bit more about this collaboration and how it's going to work. Good morning, Jane. Thank you. Yes. Um, well, uh, viral vectors or viral vaccines are becoming quite popular and they've been shown to be quite effective against uh, SARS coronavirus 2, which is the virus that causes COVID. The AstraZeneca vaccine, the Johnson & Johnson vaccine, and also the Sputnik vaccine are all based on using engineered adenoviruses to cause immunity against another virus, which of course in this case is SARS coronavirus 2, but it's uh, broadly applicable to many, many different infections. So it's a fairly generic technology that can be applied. Okay, so is that what makes it different and a lot more effective? Well, um, the, the important thing about this uh, technology is that by engineering a, a harmless virus, such as an adenovirus, you can make it produce a protein such as the spark protein of the SARS virus, and that is very effective uh, immunity that it induces. It causes so-called humoral as well as cell-mediated immunity, and that's very good at preventing infection with other viruses. And uh, yes, it's, it's very effective, and obviously AstraZeneca, Johnson & Johnson, and the Sputnik team uh, believe so, and it's been shown in clinical trials as well that the uh, recombinant viruses or the engineered viruses are very effective. Okay, so what happens next? How do we get it out there? Well, um, basically the way that it is working is that we have expertise, we've got experience in making these engineered viruses, and it is quite a specialized uh, technology. I don't think many other people, if any, in South Africa work on this. So what we're doing is to transfer the technology to BioVac, so they will have the capability to produce these engineered viruses. And uh, if once they have that capacity, they will be able to incorporate it into their production facilities and hopefully uh, produce vaccines for South African or African populations uh, efficiently and more cheaply. Okay. I mean, looking at what's happening around the world, how AstraZeneca didn't work here and Johnson & Johnson possibly will be working here, what have you learned that you can feed into your data or, you know, more holistic sort of outlook when it comes to vaccines? Mm. Well, the, it's possible to um, change things quite quickly with these uh, viral vaccines. So if, say, the uh, AstraZeneca vaccine didn't work well. Uh, it's possible to change things, you know, change the sequences that uh, are incorporated into these engineered viruses, what proteins they encode, in other words, the immunogens. And uh, that can be quite easily done. Um, so once the basic technology is set up in the country, then uh, it's possible to be quite uh, flexible and um, and change things quickly to uh, meet the demand. So deal with uh, variants that might emerge so that we can get to more effective vaccines. Yeah, I was going to uh, ask you about that. So them. we are able to keep up with the mutations, the variants. Well, um, it's, that's a very good question, Jane. I mean, in the case of HRV, we know from experience that it's very difficult to produce a vaccine against HRV because the virus is so flexible it mutates all the time and once you produce one vaccine the, the virus mutates. It is possible that the same could occur with uh, SARS coronavirus too and we will have to see but uh, you know at, as I say we have got the technology that can be changed quite nimbly to uh, address these problems of the emerging variants. Fascinating, Patrick. Thank you.